we fell in love with this place when we, we came through seven years ago. We kept getting drawn back and back. It's just a fun-loving place. Quarum up started as a dairy area, and when you go back to uh, the mid-40s, uh, dairying was the main agricultural pursuit in in the region. Dairy is integral to this area. Um, the entire township, the entire settlement was based on the dairying industry. We love our milk and certainly local fresh milk. Dairy farms are, are a big part of, of any community that they're in, certainly around here. Older echelon of the community actually grew up on dairy farms and a lot of their children now run the dairy farms. The dairy industry has contributed so much to our town. Well, I think uh, the special thing about uh, Kawaramup is the community spirit. Everyone that comes from Kawaramup has a very great sense of pride about it. Being a small town, we sort of have um, quite a lot of local groups which rely on volunteer input for their uh, survival. My, uh, my father's involved with the Kawaramup Lions Club, uh, sort of been quite involved in sporting clubs as well, like uh, the local football club and uh, Kawaramup Cricket Club, which I'm proud to say won its first premiership last year. We work together as a team. If somebody can't step up, somebody else just slots into the place. Whenever we have anything happen in the town, everyone pulls together. We have a great base of volunteers. We lived for 20 years in Melbourne. You don't experience this sort of thing in the big cities. It's community. Community spirit that, that I guess, that's what, that was what makes Quarima. It makes it such a great place to live. We have our Deja Mu that comes every year. It celebrates our cows coming to the area. We're just out having a laugh. We don't take ourselves too seriously. We just want to have a bit of fun and provide a bit of fun to the community. For Kwarmup to be named the legendary capital of WA, I think that's a, a real feather in our cap. Dare I say it even puts us, puts us on the map. It's fantastic. And, and, and I think uh, you know, that's testament to, to the community and the region. We have a beautiful display of plastic cows down our main street. Our project is to put a history trail to the base of our cows' feet so that under each cow there will be a little bit of information about our dairy history or about milk or about the cow or the owners who put the cow there. Well, I'm third generation, so we've been on the same property since 1932. We've got Orm Farm Cafe and ice cream production. We'd be one of only a few people that manufacture on farm. So basically our product, if you're at our cafe, doesn't leave the farm. We see the inputs and six months later, 12 months later, you see the result. So it's very satisfying in that regard. I, I always uh, enjoyed being on the farm and uh, enjoyed the country life. I enjoyed working with animals. Our family's got a, a fairly uh, long history in the dairy industry. My father and mother, they both have six generations of dairy farmers in their family, so uh, I guess you could say it's in our blood. There has been some setbacks in the dairy industry over the last uh, few years. We do tend to look out for each other. There's um, hay shortage and things like that that you'll see sort of hay, you know, going from one farm to another. So I, I think dairy farmers tend to be very community-minded people, so they want to try and do the right thing by uh, all their neighbours and, uh, and the local community as well. When times are tough, the good people come out and support each other and we've got an abundance of good people here in Kawarama. If you need help or need information, Western Dairy have lots of workshops and programs that we do in all aspects of your dairy farm to help each other out. Everyone needs dairy farmers. I think maybe we think a little bit outside the box and the farmer may have to be a little bit more proactive and be willing to be a voice or an advocate for their business. Maybe it's challenging and maybe the future is different, but I think there'll always be a dairy industry. To possibly be the nationally crowned town would be fantastic. It would be a huge honour for, for Kawarama itself. We used to be a, a bit of a, a don't blink and you'll miss it place on the way through to Mate River. Um, and now I think certainly uh, it's becoming a lot more prominent and I, and I certainly think if we're the legendary capital, well there you go, we can stick that on the signboard and uh, won't, won't that be great? We are a legendary community, we love our cows and we just like to promote how important the dairy industry is to everybody.